Well, Minister, uh, you come from a tremendous tourism area, of course, Westport and Mayo, so you're very familiar with the sector. It's, it's been through a rough time, but what are your hopes for the future? Well, first of all, you're right, I'm from Westport and County Mayo, uh, a tremendous tourist town, a town that has developed over the last 20 years and has certainly a massive uh, product out there now, and they're working very hard at it. My hopes for the future for this industry is there's a lot of people's uh, livelihood is depending on this industry. My hopes for the future is that we'll see growth uh, in relation to the number of visitors coming into the country. Yeah. And also, yeah. I'll be hoping that we can get people within the country to holiday yeah. within the country itself. Yeah. Yeah. This is an important industry. It's an industry that the government are very committed to because with the stimulus budget, we're hoping to create more employment in this yeah. very important industry and we have the product. Sure, sure. You touch on a very interesting subject there, the domestic market, and it's, of course it is very important to the industry, but it's hard to be positive about the domestic market presently, isn't it? Or well, no, recent, Fodge uh, Ireland have done reports recently, and I mean, from the reports, 33% uh, of the people that they actually talked to said they were going to consider having their holiday in Ireland this yeah. year. As you know, two-thirds of the bed nights are taken up by the domestic market. That's correct. And I'm pushing very hard the domestic market. And what I'm asking people to do is two things. If they take two weeks' holiday the year abroad, I'm asking them this year to consider taking one week in Ireland. That's good. Also, I'm asking people to take weekend breaks or midweek breaks. Yeah. We have yeah. a tremendous product. Yeah. Hotels were never more at a reasonable price. Yeah. And I would be hoping that people this year, for the sake of the economy and the country, and their friends and neighbours in the industry yeah. itself, that they might support one another this year. Sure. And I think that message is getting out there loud and clear to Discover Ireland. Yeah. Uh, Recently, we're spending a million euros on advertising. People are actually buying into the idea yeah. of people yeah. holding at home. Yeah. Great, terrific. Let's let's hope that they listen to, to your plea, and it's a fair and reasonable one in the circumstances we're in. Festivals are an important part of the tourism product. We we just saw recently the tremendous crowds that were drawn to the Bloom Festival. Is this an area of festivals that you think there's some unexploited potential left in? I do, and that's something that I'm going to be talking to Fodge Ireland about. Yeah. And I mean, there is a budget there for festivals, and I think we should be looking at actually providing more funding for, for, for festivals. Festivals are very important. I see it in my own town, in my own county. I see it in the country. Yeah. Uh, when I go on holidays myself, the first thing I look out for, I look out to see what's actually going on in that area. Yeah. And, you know, as Minister for Tourism, I, I suppose I'm somebody that, that for the last 30 years, I think once in 30 years I've gone abroad on holidays. Yeah. I stay in holidays in Ireland. Yeah. Killarney is a real winner and sure. West Cork. Yeah. I'd love to go in Mayo, but you can't yeah. go on holidays at home. You have, yeah, to go, you have to go. I love Ireland. Yeah. I think we have a great product. And it's not even about the weather. Yeah. We have everything. Sure. And of course, the value is there now. But right? that's right. In every yeah. corner of this country you go, yeah, when we cannot support every festival. But what I am saying, sure. we have some major festivals out there that we should support. You know, the, it's a good image for the country. People, sure. and there's one thing about festivals, and particularly people taking part in festivals. People, you know, come out. They they're in good form. Yeah. They they sell the country well. Yeah. And you know, there's no better event of a festival either in in a rural part of the country, in the city, or it doesn't matter where it is. Sure. Festivals are good for the country, and I would be hoping that Falls Island will be putting more money into that over the next number of years. Terrific. That's good to hear. Um, you've been a little bit critical in recent times about some hotel pricing. Is it, is it not the case that many of the much of the current pricing is, is unsustainably low and that hotels must get some increase in rates if they're to recover. Well, yes, I can't control what uh, hotels sell the prices at. And I cannot control if they're selling them at a very low price either. But I think where they have the difficulty is coming from a very low base to a very high base when there's events on in a particular part of the country at a particular time. That's what creates the wrong impression. And, you know, recently, yes, I've been critical of the hotels, but if I have... I've got massive support throughout the country and recent festivals that took place in Dublin, the recent Europa Cup of Final, yeah. not good for the industry. I'm working yeah. with the industry. Sure. I want to support the industry. We are putting our money where our mouth is. Yeah. The government have brought in the stimulus package. We're promoting the country internally. Yeah. We, we're very pro-tourism. That's right, package, very pro-tourism. Yeah. We're dealing with the visa situation. We're dealing with the, the airport tax. Yeah. We're talking to the, to, to, to the Dublin Authority in relation to reducing fares uh, for, yeah. for airlines that are coming into the country. Yeah. So we're doing our bit. Yeah. And what I'm saying to the hotel uh, operators themselves. Of course I know they're coming from a very low base, mm. but there's a difference between coming from a very low base to a very high base. There is an in-between, sure. and I don't want them to damage what we're all doing, sure. working together to yeah. promote the country, yeah. to try and fill every bed night for yeah. them yeah. in the winter and the summer, yeah. Yeah. but there's no point them trying to fill their bed nights and get their, their, their results in a very short period. That's damaging for the industry. Okay, understood, and it has to be 
be a collective effort, of course, to get back to where we want to get back to anyway. Uh, correct, and yeah. I, I accept that the, the price the price range is what they're selling at the moment is, yeah. is not sustainable. But there is an in-between. Sure. Not at the top rate. There is an in-between. Okay. And finally, you were in New York recently on a trade mission. Good to see you out there promoting the country for us. How, how did you find things there? Is the US market uh, recovering? Well, it is. And the great news I have for, for, for the industry, the, the, the number one, the goodwill that's out there for Ireland is just unbelievable. And Americans love coming to this country. And they're not worried about the weather. They just want to come to the country. Yeah. The second thing is, uh, yes, they tell me that, 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 that particularly the people in the trade, that there's a lot of um, a lot of people now considering coming to Ireland, yeah. both this year and next year. And that's good for, for the trade itself. It's so great. the market is lifting a bit. Yeah. And I'm very confident that if, if we can get the, the overseas market up and running, and particularly with the recent visits. It was yeah. brilliant with President sure. Obama, Queen Elizabeth, and also Prince Albert. I mean, there were three sure. high-profile visits Absolutely. to the country in three very important markets, America, France, and Britain. Yes, our three, biggest, three of our top four. That's right, Britain yeah. is our biggest market, and yeah. I think the Queen's visit will, will be good for the country, yeah. and I'm hopeful that, that this year we'll see an increase. We're, 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 set it, set, set it, we're going for a modest target of yeah. 4%. Yeah. We hope to be more, but I'm yeah. saying to the industry out there, look at we're all working together. We're all trying to sell the country. It is a great product, yeah. and it's a product now at a reasonable price. Yeah. Let's work together. Let's push this together. And what I'm saying to the industry is, look at, give them the best value you can for this year. Because remember one thing, good publicity is better than negative publicity. Absolutely. And negative pu publicity goes further than the good publicity. So what I'm saying to the trade is, let's work together. We have played our part. I'm asking you now to play your part. Okay. I went out to America, the senior minister has been in Germany, mm. and he's been in Britain, and I'm going to Paris myself in September. Right. This is in all our interests, in the country's interest, in, the, in, the, in, the, in everybody's interest that has put a major investment in tourism in this country. Sure. Well, that's a very good summary of the situation, and we look forward to working with you, Minister. Thank you for talking with us. Not at all. I'm delighted, and good luck to everybody in the trade.